And it is time for this week's Pet of the Week segment. We, where we meet adoptable pets from area shelters looking for forever homes. And today's pet comes to us from Animal Friends. Shannon Clark is here to tell us about Kaya. And she is an excited little girl. Yes, she is. She's Hi. been loving everybody that she's been meeting this morning. I love that she licked my hand just as soon as I came up. <laughs> I like that she perked up when she heard the PTL music. Yeah, That's what I love most did. about yeah. that. And she's been with you since October, you She said? has been, yeah. And it's kind of baffling because she is an amazing dog. I mean, so sweet and loving. She's, I mean, her tail hasn't stopped wagging Aww. since since she's been. She loves people, loves to be around people. She can go home with cats and other dogs, kids that are older than eight. So I mean, she's a she's a fabulous, fabulous dog. She does have a little bit of separation anxiety though. Okay. So she needs someone that will be home for a, a lot of the time, um, which because good to know doesn't don't blame her. I mean, she loves to be around everybody. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. She's Look at her one ear up and the other one yeah. down. I love she's, that. She's yeah. taking it all in. <laughs> yeah, and she's become, she's a, a staff and volunteer favorite. I mean, everybody just adores her. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we also want to yeah. ask you, not just about Kaya, but about uh, the food, uh, the yes. chow wagon program, mm -hmm. the, right. the food bank. And, and because of the government shutdown, it's probably more in need now exactly. than even before, even right. though the government's back up and running. A lot of those families of federal workers, their money's been depleted. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. So chow wagon pet food bank has been around for over a decade. And essentially it was one of our, um, a food pantry manager noticed that one of her clients continued to take cans of tuna fish all the time. And she just made a comment, just, hey, you really must like that. And it was, right. no, I don't have any to feed cat. my cat. Um, so we oh, wow. people will take the food off of their plate and give it to their pets because mm -hmm. they don't want their pets to, to go, go hungry. hungry. So, they, sure. so we want to make sure that everybody in the family is getting as well-rounded up a diet as possible. So we have a pet food bank, which is completely run on donations from the public, pets, pet food and treats, litter, things like that. Um, but right now, like you said, it's even more important because the government shut down and with everybody have really felt that whenever they were laid off. So we want to make sure mm -hmm. that we're helping as much as we possibly can. So how can people make donations if they do, in fact, have some extra to give? So they can, they just can stop by Animal Friends, just drop it off in our lobby or if they have... <laughs> She's ready to go. She, she heard food and she's ready. <laughs> yep, she loves the treats. So. <laughs> um, but they can drop it off here uh, at Animal Friends. They can give us a call. I mean, there's a lot of different ways that we can go about it. But, I mean, they can always visit our website, too, for more information. All right. Thanks so much, Shannon. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. And thank, thank you, Kaya. You. <laughs> You're going home soon. I yes. love that. We hope <laughs> so. We have a happy dog <laughs> and some cats. Find out more about today's pet and the Chow Wagon Food Bank. You can visit Animal Friends online or stop in at the shelter on Camp Horn Road. And keep watching for more stories about fostering or adopting pets every Monday as part of our featured Pet of the Week segments.